Buy it, use it, break it, fix it, trash it, change it, mail, upgrade it, charge it, point it, zoom it, press it, snap it, work it, quick, erase it, write it, cut it, paste it, save it, load it, check it, quick, rewrite it, plug it, play it. Hey, I'm going to show you guys how to make a G5 RV antenna, or at least how I, I'm going to try to make it. Uh, some of the stuff you tools you need would be, you know, a soldering iron, some, you know, cleaner if you want to use it hot glue gun, uh, some hot glue sticks, some caulking, some drill bits, uh, some PVC glue, uh, some wire strippers, maybe some PVC for you know insulators if you you know want to do it that way just some scrap you have, some some uh, a cap for the bottom, you know a sleeve maybe some PVC pipe, uh, some caps, some eyelets, some washers, some nuts, uh, wire snips, some shrink wrap tubing, a screwdriver, you know, maybe a crescent wrench, uh, some pliers, some screws, a drill, uh, you know, and some wire. Uh, for the, uh, I'm going to make a open wire uh, open wire uh, transformer instead of you know ladder line or uh, twin lead so uh, I'll probably try some coat hangers coat hangers just plastic coat hangers cut them make them for spreaders if this don't work I'll use some uh, some PVC tubing uh, alright uh, I'm going to start with the eyelets you know the T's the T and uh, I just drilled a hole I so I just stuck a washer in the bottom of it and uh, drilled the hole so so the washer would be in centered up inside then you know I stuck it through to make that and then uh, basically then you will take make two of them like, like that and then you stick it on a T I used uh, was it an inch and a half? I think it is. No. Yeah. Inch and a half with I think. Yeah, inch and three quarter inch and a quarter. Inch and a quarter uh T with um threads at the bottom right here. You know, but I don't really need that anymore, but you know. And basically you glue them, two of them, like that. What I'll show you here in a minute. Okay, now I'm gonna. Uh, I got these eyelets all done and caps. And I'm gonna fill that in with uh, silicone so it won't uh, so it won't leak. Okay, now I put silicone all up in there. So now I'm gonna glue it onto the T's. So I glued it just like that. Ends in there like that. The eyelets. So it looks like that. Okay, now I'm going to drill holes right there for each of the lead, the elements, to go through the center. So uh, uh, I'll show you that here in a minute. Okay, now you loop your wire to the eyelet to the thing. So it comes out like that. And you have roll of antenna over there and then you just put some zip ties right there to keep it from pulling away and then sort of your light line ribbon or uh, whatever you want onto the end of that don't know do the same thing for this side hey you guys well um I decided just to show you guys the finished product instead of you know going step by step but step by step so y'all can see it you know finished and uh all together and maybe be able to understand how it's going together you know so uh, I'm gonna start off with uh with the uh, T <coughs> finishing off with the T and uh basically uh 
I drilled holes, you know, right there, both sides, right there, up to here, like that. And I drilled holes going across, right here and right through here, above the threads, you know. So if you uh, if you do it, you know, you want to make sure you get it above the threads so you can, you know, screw the cap back on or slide the plug back in or whatever. Um, uh, whenever you do it, you know, you want to push these wires through so they stick out right here, you know, you solder them, shrink wrap tube them, push back in there and then pull out your extra so, you know, you don't get no loops or tangles or anything like that up in there. Um, also what I forgot to tell y'all to get is, uh, these like, um, they call them thimbles. You know, you want to get one of them, probably stainless steel, they're like, uh, a dollar, dollar fifteen, something like that. But, uh, get them, you know, keep your, uh, wire from getting, uh, rubbed a hole in it or whatnot. So, get some of them. Uh, <clears throat> the reason why I went with the thread part is because I was going to go with, you know, what is it, uh, twin feed, uh, no, twin lead, 300 ohm twin lead from like Radio Shack, you know, but I decided to, you know, do open wire. And, uh, basically what you can do is, you know, get you one with a cap, you know, drill a hole in it big enough the twin lead can go in there or his light line or whatever and you can you know put it up in there run it through here put it right here you know um, do your soldering pull out your extra leads right here and then you know you can slide this back up there you know tighten this up and then you know you can uh, you know you can silicone right here where the twin lead is coming out a ladder line and then uh, if you ever have to replace it you know what you have to do is just scrape some of the, the, the silicone off unscrew this you know and then push out your extra wire right here pull it out undo it resolder it you know and everything and start your new one but uh that's that uh, <coughs> uh, for the for the ends I'd recommend if you are if you have some wire antennas, you know, just take your piece of wood, notch out two ends on it, like that, so you can wrap your cord around it, you know, it leads around it, you know, just hold your insulator like this, you know, and just roll it up all the way to the center, so whenever you go to undo it, you know, you don't have to fight, you know, all the loops and tangles and knots in it, you know, there's the insulator, I just drilled a hole through it, looped it back over itself and uh... well shrink wrap tube it right there zip tight it right there you know there's a hole right there for a rope you know stretch it out uh... that's the end of it just plain uh... the ladder, the open wire all what I used was uh... use it just like that it's two inches apart uh, each spreader is uh, about four or five inches or so, you know, depending on what you want. I would say don't go more than six because it somewhat gets, you know, all kind of whoopy looking and stuff like that. So, you know, I'd probably say like five, four inches or something like that. Uh, I just used plastic coat hangers and I drilled the holes through it. And then I slid, slid them up the two lines, you know, to where I need them, and then hot glued them into into place. <coughs> um, now with the bottom, um, I took that cap and I drilled, you know, I glued a piece of PVC pipe about ye about ye long, you know. I glued it up in the top to this cap. Drilled the holes through the side run the wires through there then I had a little uh, plastic like cap for like a electrical one of them uh, plastic electrical boxes cover around one and I just cut a circle that will fit inside of like the sleeve right here